Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to create user defined functions in Informatica. So there are two types of user defined functions you can create. One is public and another is private. So if you create private, private type of user defined function, that particular function you can uh, call only from, only from other public user defined function. Basically that private user defined function you cannot call from any other expression transformation. So the, however, the, if you define any public user defined function that, that you can call from any other expression. So for the sake of this example, uh, I have created a one source table that is function underscore test. Uh, so there are four records and uh, we are going to insert, uh, basically the, the task is we have to, uh, from this whole email ID, we have to pick only the user ID and basically we have to remove anything after at the red sign. So to remove that we are going to create uh, two functions. One is private. So the private function basically will give the position of at the red sign and uh, public function which will retrieve this particular user ID. So get user ID. So and this would be the public function and that we are going to call in the expression. So let's create first private function which will uh, give the position of at the red sign. Let's right click new private get index of at sign. So the input would be email id i email id and string I will precision I will give as 50 and expression so actual function you have to write over here in string ok so the first argument will would be email id second argument would be at the rate and one add it create the public function get user id and again the argument would be uh, i underscore email id string 50 character substring so it expects character though so the argument would be first this m as a numeric and n as a numeric so you start from first and then you send again give minus one so one position prior to add the rate so basically this substring function will return the actual user id so it will basically remove everything from add the rate sign so let's validate this so we are done with the ex uh, our user defined functions now let's import the source source import the table name is function test is our source table and the target would be let's pull those table in a mapping function test m underscore function test target is function test target will add expression in between and from expression get id so from expression will call our public function create another for o get id 
or the ID string I will change this to 50 it's only output port and if you see there is only get user ID you can see over here so only the public fun function which we have defined that you can see or that is available in any expression editor so let's call this function and pass the argument as email ID validate it and just connect that to target so let's so in source we have four records in target we do not have any record let's create the workflow next change the connection to teradata next let's remove this let's connect function test here it is few changes or few modifications we have to perform here since the connection belongs to DBC user we have to specify the owner name and owner is financial but even at target will basically Trunked the target table and uh, target table name table name prefix. Financial financial financials financial. Okay, let's try to run the mapping now. so there were four records in the source and same records got inserted into target let's check actual records at target now here you go thanks for watching this video